Welcome everyone to episode one of Frontier. I know a lot of people are playing on this map, and I think that's because this map is very unique. Um, speaking of which, look at that, even just... I didn't even notice this before when I did the... Look at that, Frontier Police. I love it. There's so many good details in this map, I think. I think it's a fantastic map. So, anyhow, we're on here. Um, what is our goal? What are we doing on here? I know a lot of people have different concepts of what they want to do. So, the, the kind of concept that I'm going to go with is you see there's a big city kind of in the background. We're kind of on the outskirts. They're still building up and doing just different things around here. Ooh, sorry, don't honk at me. Um, but anyhow, the concept of what we are doing is this is a post-apocalyptic kind of world, which is something I've never kind of engaged in on Farming Simulator with um, any sort of uh, storyline or anything. So this will be a partial storyline to this. There'll be kind of some storyline to this. But we are here in this post-apocalyptic city um, living out here. Well, we are just out here on the outskirts um, working in this zone where the city over here in this zone um, yeah, they're doing their thing. So what are we doing on here? What are we doing on here? Well, I moved out to this area because I wanted to take advantage of something. Um, I used to live in the city here, and what I noticed living in the city is there's a huge demand for products. Now that people are starting to earn money, get jobs, things like that, things are starting to recover in the economy here after kind of the post-apocalyptic events or whatever the case may be. Um, so people are farming out here to supply for the, the town. At least this is what we have going on out here on this side. Um, there's oil production. There's a lot of factories and things like that. Uh, but what I've noticed is there's such a high demand for products, and that's um, any sort of number of products. As you guys probably know from my map tour, if you haven't watched my map tour, you should. Uh, there's a lot of added products on here, plus I've added some extra ones on here as well for different things we can do. So what are we on here to do? Some of these are from Platinum and all this. A lot of products. So what we are on here to do is to make a bunch of kind of products and do productions pro pri uh, primarily, sorry, uh, predominantly or primarily to provide for the city. What is our end goal of this series? I don't know how long this series will be in terms of episodes. Uh, my goal is probably to have this series 15 to 25 episodes will probably be about the goal of it. Um, the goal is to have a industrial setup, an industrial um, business that is able to make a million dollars a day in profit. That's profit. That's not total income that we have for the day. That's our actual net profit, what goes into our pocket at the end of the day. Now, we are starting off with just this truck here. I like the truck. It kind of comes in new farm mode or any game mode you play and you start off with it. Uh, so we have this truck here that we can use to drive around and uh, run errands and do that sort of thing if we need to um, on the map, um, which is great because we need to drive around and kind of get started here. We have zero dollars in the bank. Um, in terms of our settings, if I go into here for us to take a look, um, let's scroll down to our settings here. Where are we at? Settings, settings, settings. There we are. We are going to play in normal economy mode. Now, I thought this one actually would be a fair challenge if we did easy, just because the concept is, well, there's a high demand for products in the city, but I typically play on hard, so I decided to go normal just to kind of be in the middle with it. I think that's kind of a fair middle ground, so it's not too easy for us. Uh, seasonal growth will be on. I'm actually going to change that to two days per month. Um, that's what I want there. Crop destruction off, periodic plowing off, field stone off, and weeds are on. Um, we also have precision farming on as well, uh, because I figured this is kind of more modern and what we're doing and everything like that. Let me save that since I changed the setting. It's more modern than what we're doing, so I figured that was pretty reasonable that we'd be trying to do that. Um, we will be doing some farming, but again, we're only going to do farming to produce goods to put into our factories. So I don't necessarily know what sort of thing we're going to produce first. Um, we have a lot of different options on here. Um, we can take loans out. We have to take loans out here, and there'll be a a payment and we have to make payments every month so for example if i the max we can take right now is thirty six thousand, which i might actually have to change that because i don't know if we're going to be able to uh rock and roll at that rate uh but regardless of that we can try to take a loan out um and do our thing and we're just going to need to try to use some production chains here uh to try to get some stuff up and running uh we can sell farm goods if we need to that's not a big deal we can do that but i don't want that to be our primary source of income um, what we might actually have to do now, since we can't take a lot of loans, is we may have to do some uh, contracts. If you go down here, there's not really a lot of contracts either, to be honest. So uh, we're just going to have to find something to do. I might be able to see if there's any work around here, anything needs to be done. Uh, but we need to find a way to make some money. So there's, again, all the basic productions. And there's a lot of other different productions around here as well. Uh, so I'm going to do what I'm going to do is I'm going to drive around. I'm going to scope out with our truck some of these different productions and see kind of the pricing of some of them and see if there's one that might be good for us to start off with. So 
Um, I'm going to scope it out and see what we can maybe do. Uh, maybe I can go to the bank and talk about getting some extra financing from them, uh, but we'll kind of see from there. So, um, oh, and I also should note, uh, this area is under kind of a, it's not really, uh, it's kind of a police state-esque, um, which I know if you're, if you've watched any other series on this, I'm sure a lot of people have used that same concept. I know the one series I'm watching is Mr. Silly Peas, where he runs it as the transitional authority is in charge here. I'm going to change mine up a little bit. They're not the the transitional authority. If you know anything about my channel or No Man's Land, my series on No Man's Land, the F-12 patrol are in charge here. Now, that doesn't mean we can't use cheaty things or anything like that. Technology is quite advanced um, on this region since it is quite into the future. Um, obviously, we're driving a very old, very classic truck here. So obviously not everything's going to jive with it being super futuristic, but um, it's just a little ways into the future for that uh, sense of the word. But uh, yeah, so the F-12 patrol, we have to keep an eye out for them. They may try to bust us. There are certain things you're not allowed to produce. Um, for example, um, if we go into here, one thing that they are not allowing people to produce is these kind of various, uh, we'll say, adult beverages. So um, various things like that, they don't like you to produce, and they try to put limits on you and stuff like that and try to throw fees on and tax you and some crazy stuff like that. So we're going to kind of keep an eye out for that. And um, I know Darren Duel works for them as well, so we'll have to keep an eye out for them and that sort of thing. But yeah, I'm going to scope out some productions and then uh, I'll I'll bring you guys back in in a bit after we figure out what we're going to do. All right, I have done some soul searching and I have come up with a good plan. Now, the first thing I'm going to show you on here, and this actually I'm going to have linked down below in the description if you want to take a look at it. Um, You won't be able to edit it, but you'll be able to view it if you'd like to. Um, So there's a lot of new productions, a lot of materials. If we go into in the menu here and we go into here, there's a ton of stuff that's added in this uh, game and even the base game like the basic productions the base game productions like some of this stuff up here is different in Frontier than it is in the base game. So I needed kind of something to help point me in the right direction So what did I do? I came up with this um, and again, this will be in the description down below You can have a link to this. Um, this is a Google sheet. So it has all the productions um, So it shows you over here on this side It shows you what factory it is on the map how much it costs for that factory then I have the productions for that factory here. So like, for example, Fabric has two, and then some of these have more all the way down and so on and so forth. Then it has how many cycles it'll do that production and how much it costs for the production per month. And then over here, it has the recipe, which I took little snippets of for all of them. The only ones that are kind of hard to read is if we go down, um, there's a lot of pages because there's a lot of productions. Now, again, like if you look at, well, we'll just get down here to an example here, the example I want to show you. So a cake here. Uh, it adds pallets and gas, so you need those to make cake now, and you also get some recycling uh, out of the out of the bottom end of it. Well, these ones, the recipe thing on the game is a little bit weird, so it's kind of over top of this, but this is two flour for each of these. Um, but yes, yeah, so that's the only one that was a little weird. So having said that, I looked through all this after I made this chart, which by the way, this chart took me, um, it probably took me two hours to make this, maybe less, maybe an hour and a half, but it took a while. Uh, so anyhow, that's why I want to make sure I'll share it with you guys if you guys want it down below in the description if you're playing on this map. This will help you kind of figure out what you want to do. Um, so we need pallets. The first I thought I had was, well, we're going to need pallets for any production. So I was like, well, easy peasy. What we'll do if we go down here, uh, if I can find it in here, we I thought, you know what? Easy thing for us to do is just buy the pallet coat for 100 grand and make pallets. But then I looked at how much pallets are worth. Pallets are not worth very much money. So this is not going to make us hardly any money. So, and $100,000 for factory is still quite a bit. So a better idea, I thought, would be the carpentry because we also could do the sawmill. The sawmill up here um, is, if I find it up here now, see, sorry if you're getting dizzy with all my scrolling, but Miller Sawmill, we could make any of these products here, any of the planks, and those all sell for decent prices using just wood. Um, and it's only 100 grand, but we make more off of the furniture and the carpentry point, if we go back down here, is only 60,000 to buy. So. It's not going to put us too much in the hole and we can make it using just trees so we don't have to process into beams anything. Um, so I think this is a good start for us because we're going to start making some money. I know forestry is not everyone's first thing they want to see happen, but that might be what we have to start off doing. I can do obviously a lot of it off camera and everything like that. But um, well, on that note too, let's go back to the game here. So if I go back to the game here, there we go. Um, here we are right here. So this is again, it'd be 60,000 to buy. So we're going to need to get that. Now, if we go in the store here, um, we're also going to need to get some equipment. So I'm going to look at some equipment here, actually. And I know some of you guys make fun of me because I always shop with you guys in. A couple of things I kind of want to do. I want to make this a larger process sooner. So I think we're going to get a truck right off the bat. So you might buy even this old international truck. It's super cheap. Not going to cost us too much. This actually looks quite nice. I like the look of the truck, but it's not going to be super helpful for calling logs. 
But we can get that. And if we go down to trailers here, down to forestry, if I can find it, forestry equipment. Um, in here, I have some auto load trailers, which this one is plenty big to start with. It's an auto load. Um, we can we can do trailer hitcher. It doesn't matter. But anyhow, it's an auto load trailer. So that is kind of one of the new technologies in the area. Logs that load themselves or trailers that will load themselves using some magic technology. I know that's a stretch. I apologize. But regardless of that, that right there could be our setup for that. And then we could even get just a chainsaw to just chop down trees to start. And I think that'll get us going right off the bat. So I think to start, uh, well, we also have to buy land. Um, I think, goodness, it's going to be expensive to get some forestry land. Um, what's the cheap one? 306 is the cheapest so far. 490, 787, 755. 424 for this one over here is not bad. And it has that area up at the top. So 424 for that. 45 is actually pretty cheap too. So I may drive over and take a look at field 45. I don't know. I'm going to look around at some of these plots. And I will bring you guys back in in a minute after I've taken out a loan for what we need. And I did talk at the bank. I did stop at the bank. They said that they can give me a loan above um, above the amount that we're allowed to get. They said that anything over $100,000 they lend me, the interest rates are going to start going up quite a bit. So they said for the first $100,000, it'll be 3.5% interest. And then after that, it's quite a bit higher. So obviously, I don't want to... We can always pay off the higher amount sooner. So... Um, we just kind of have to have a way to make some money. So let me get some stuff going here, and I'll bring you guys back in in just a minute. All right, I just got done at the dealership here. Let's go out and see what I got. We got our truck and trailer that I mentioned, and then I did decide to go with just a chainsaw. I think that's going to work out just fine for us. So let's hop in here. And we also own a couple of things as well. If I go into here, we own... Go down. Oh, well, I'll play it alone here in a second. If I go down here, we do own the production facility. I can deactivate all of those right now because we're not doing anything with anything right now. Uh, but we can start making some furniture, hopefully. That's the plan. Now, we do have to transport the furniture, so we're going to have to address that, which I think, a good way, actually, that's, let's just address that right now. I think if we go, is there miscellaneous? Might be the thing I'm looking for, might be under miscellaneous. There is an auto load trailer. That, again, it's fancy technology that will auto-load stuff into the back of our trailer, and it can be hauled with a semi-truck, which is what we have. I think it's in here. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Furniture's on there at least. I don't know if it'll do all the fancy products. Auto-load auto, auto load stock trailer pack. Yes, yeah, so I think we'll go with... Hmm... They should both be fine, but I think this one will do the trick. So, yeah, we'll just do uh, we'll just do the standard. Cost us money to change that? It does. Well, we can't afford that. So yeah, and uh, I actually think for this one, because we are low on money, um, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna lease this, and we can make payments on it. So uh, if we go down here to lease, we can always uh, purchase this for whatever's remaining that we owe on the trailer. So for now, we're gonna lease that, and the reason being, we have to pay off our loans as we're going here. Which again, they actually just were very nice to me. They did two hundred thousand dollars as long as they did a short term. They were able to go up to two hundred thousand at three point five percent interest. So we have to pay fifty nine hundred dollars a month for that, uh, for three years, thirty six hundred dollars or thirty six months until two hundred thousand is paid off. Then for the four hundred thousand, ten percent interest, so quite high. But the payment is lower because this is paid off in one hundred twenty months or ten years. So we have ten years to pay that one off, and yeah, so payments will start coming out of our bank account starting. Uh, well, it's August. Of it should be. I'm pretty sure the way we did it is, let me make sure. I wanted to set it, I might have forgot to do this. I wanted to set it to two day months. Um, let's go into here. I might have totally forgot to do that. I think I did. Seasonal growth, yes, two days per month. Okay, yeah, yeah, so two days per month, everything's good there. Um, okay, so let's go get some logs hauled here. I don't have start. I don't have start and go breaking turned on. Let me turn that on real quick. These are all the things I forget to turn on and off when I start a new series. Uh, stop and go breaking on. There we go. That means basically if I start to go forward again, it will start to go forward on its own. I don't have to. Yeah. Anyhow, it just makes my life easier. And then the land that I bought. So, couple things. 
a few plots. I bought this one. That one was at, now of course it's worth less. We bought, we paid 434 for it. All the forestry land was overpriced. This one, I didn't want to pay for it because it's 31% above what it was supposed to be versus this one was like 15 or 16% above. This one, um, well, of course, th this one was actually a little bit under. So I could have bought this one for about 20,000 more and saved a little bit of money, but there's nowhere for us to really park. This one actually has this property here, which has some fun stuff on it, which we'll take a look. It's literally just right next door to the store as well, which is another thing. So it's closer to where we're trying to get to and kind of the store and everything like that. So it's nice out here. Um, I did pay some extra for some kind of off-road tires on this, and I'll show you why that is going to be very necessary in a second. So if we turn in here, this lot is ours. There's some dirt all over the place, so we got to drive around and deal with that, which so far this truck is doing fairly well. I did buy pay for an upgraded engine as well. Um, we have a crap ton of dirt just sitting here on the property that we bought. That must be why it was so cheap. The construction people, I think, have just been dumping it out here. Uh, but we do own that chunk of land and then this goes across kind of into our forest area and this whole we're gonna have to get something done about this dirt and clear some of this out of here but for now we need to start making money asap um i don't know if the dirt's worth anything or if we can sell it but it's definitely not gonna be worth a lot so the land up here is a little treacherous it's not the most ideal to be working in you can see we are struggling to go up the hill here a little bit but thankfully we shouldn't have to haul anything if we get off the road actually it might be a little bit easier yeah that dirt is just really really just mugging us down there pretty good so we'll just do what we can and then of course yeah try to make sure it doesn't roll away we do have our beautiful chainsaw so we can do whatever we need to do here um let's see if we can get this to just fall so we should be able to cut some things down i'm actually going to keep the time at about five times i think that's a pretty reasonable speed for us if i have to speed it up more that'll be fine but i'm going to go with not slowing it down if at all possible for that little chunk there. Now, at some point, we're going to probably want to plant some more trees because we want to, well, we want to continue our money making. Did I get that little piece there? There we go. Get all this, hopefully, off of here real quick. So this tree is actually fairly large, which is going to be great, very helpful for us. There we go. I'm not, it's not doing a very good job of getting it. It could be mostly my fault. Not all, but mostly. There we go. Okay, there we go. Now we can see the whole tree here. Get this last little piece here. So the way the auto load should work, you'll be able to pull up next to it and just auto load it onto the trailer. Now that, that tree itself is going to be too long. And I'm going to have to open up my help menu definitely to uh, start this. Uh, show in loading position. Show, I haven't used one of these since Willamina. Uh... Yep, we're gonna need to adjust. I'm gonna need to play with this uh, auto load right or left. So should be oh yep, to the auto load to the right, auto load to the left. Okay. Change number of piles to max six meters. Yep, that's just uh, turning our engine on and off. So I might have to change that one. Uh, if we go into our hotkeys, we should be able to adjust that a little bit in here. So there's probably, there's probably quite a few things in here, honestly. Um, okay. So, vehicle front loader crane, placeable camera game gearbox, vehicle lights radio, platinum expansion, go veal pack, pumps and hoses, bail stacking, arena mode, good lord, there's a lot, pallet auto load specialization, Force play, legal timber auto load. Okay, so turn on and off. Okay, this one has to be changed to. We'll do. Can I do. Let's enter on the numpad. I don't think that did it. Let me. Uh, are those gonna show up the same way? Yeah, I think so. Let's remap that to keypad five and see how that goes. Um. Okay, show hide. Rotate on loading position. Resize on loading position. Shift unloading position, unload marker, toggle unload switch pile. Yes, let's try that. Let's try that um, and see how that goes. Um, okay, save controls. Okay. So now we should be able to. Yep, there we go. That is perfect right there. Files two, it should change on there. But yeah, that, that's the size we want. So now we just need to cut this guy 
be about that size and see how it goes. So let's see how that goes. Okay, now we hit auto load on. So far, this is not going well. Nothing's dancing up there. Hmm. This might be something I have to, of course, play with a little bit. So let me try to get this figured out, and I'll bring you guys back in in a second. All right, I solved it. I got one to auto load. I need to remember to probably strap that down as well. So this one is probably a little too long here as well. Let's get right up to about there. Let's see if we can't cut that. Right about probably there-ish. Good news is this is getting made into furniture, so if... Oh, oh it automatically auto-loaded that because it's on. That makes sense. This one I can lift, though. So that's nice. And it should have automatically, I think, auto-loaded that as well as soon as it got in there. Is it not going to let me get in there? This is going to be a pain. Let me get into the, the vehicle. That, <laughs> they're not going to let me get into it? That is going to be obnoxious. I've had this issue before, so we'll see. But anyhow, okay, we can turn that off, and I think we can uh, hide that. So I can do... There we go. That's also the unloading position. So that was just I used it to show me the unloading position. But there we go. We have three logs on board. So I'm going to keep chugging away until hopefully I've gotten a full load off of a few trees here. Um, and then we will haul this down to our beautiful carpentry facility get this bad boy unloaded into there to get the production rolling and then hopefully we can make enough money and worst case scenario we can sell the logs i just would rather not because obviously we'll make more money off of doing our furniture and i did say we would start off by doing a production of some kind we could have started off doing farming or something like that but uh, again we're only going to sell goods farmed goods and stuff like that um, or things we produce, such as logs, if we are desperate for cash. We're absolutely desperate. That's the only option we have. Otherwise, we are going to try to stick it out with only making money off our productions. But there we go. I'm just going to chug away and keep working. All right. Load one is done. Let's see if we can work our way off of our land here without hopefully getting, oh boy, like rolling it or anything like that. That was about to be a bad day right there. Get my GPS open down there in the bottom corner. I think I know where I'm going, but we will see. Our truck is parked outside the carpentry, actually, so that's a good marker on the map. Yeah, there we go. And once we get on the roadway, it should be a little bit uh, easier. But for now, a little bit treacherous getting this around here. But I think this is a good equipment setup for us to start. I'm hoping this is a decent amount of wood right here. Um, it didn't take us too long to get it, so it should be hopefully pretty good, pretty decent. I do have to be careful. I want to make sure I don't violate any laws or anything, because, again, the F-12 patrol will come after us if we do that. Um, yeah, so hopefully being kind of on the edge of the map and kind of out of their way, we won't have to worry about them too much, at least right now. I don't want to pass these guys or do anything crazy. Um, I'm not sure what we're waiting for here. Yeah, I'm not honking, but they are. Okay. Boy, they're just taking their sweet time. Well, that guy's trying to turn. There we go. That guy at least went. Is this guy going to go? There we go. Nope, nope. He's turning right. Yeah, you're both turning. One of, yeah, if one of you guys would go, then I can just turn into here. Perfect. Okay. Easy peasy. So, I think right there at the front is where we need to kind of back these guys in a little bit. Let's try to do it. I mean, we own this. We don't own this land, actually, technically speaking. Yeah, that's fine. I can save that. If we go up here to the top, I think we can we buy the land here that this is on. No, we can't. So, I guess I'm going to go with for the purposes of what we have going on, we own the land. This, the carpentry point is on here. So we own this land, and we own the building on it. So we can do kind of what we need to do here. Actually, it might be easier to back in from the roadway. We can do that. Get just backed back out here. I hope this guy's not going right. Just going to... The police right there. And you know, oh goodness gracious! Hopefully they just keep moving about. He stopped. Oh boy. I feel like that's kind of on him. Well, he doesn't care that much. Nor do the police. Maybe they do. I don't know. All right. Well, they kept going that time at least. Oh boy. Oh boy. Right after. <laughs> right not to get in trouble with the police. That was not a good uh, start there. All right. I don't like blocking the road, but it might be. That's our lights. Where's our flash set? There we go. I remember the hotkey there. Let's get out here and uh, let's get this stuff put in. Let's do some of it. That dot, well, that's at least enough to get us backed up a little bit more. Let's get out of the roadway here. 
There we go. Okay. Now let's go ahead and see here. How is that production facility looking? Um, okay, they got more room for more wood. Okay, good. So I want to make sure. Now let's go ahead and activate the uh, furniture as well. Um, that's quite a bit of wood, so we'll see what that makes for furniture. It should start spawning it out and doing all that sort of thing. Let's go around here. See if we can't get the rest of this unloaded. There we go. Okay, how did that do? That about filled us up, so we definitely don't have room for another load. Now, what I would like to do, though, is get another load loaded up. That way, we can do anything we need to do with that um, and everything like that. So that's, yeah, that way we just have it ready to go for when this needs more. So I'll keep working on that. Um, and that's that. I think uh, that's, and I'll go get the trailer, and we can park the trailer out back. Um, I think we'll use this probably as our main parking yard for now because, well, it's kind of a disaster over, I mean, on our... Our working area, yes, we do own the land here, but right now it's a disaster until we can get that dirt. And I want to clear this dirt out of here as well, at least up for towards the end of where the land we own, which is up over here. So I at least want to clear the dirt so that way it's easier for us to work up there. So we may look into doing some of that. Uh, but for now, that's what I got for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed episode one of Frontier. Uh, if you guys did, please drop a like down below. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button up on the screen to join the Farmer Cop channel and turn your notification bell so you don't miss any future videos I may post. This has been Farmer Cop. Thank you guys for coming. And for watching, I'll see you guys in the next one.